<laughs> it's over. It's over for the Suns. It's over. Katie, his fans, and the Suns fans, they can go get their broomsticks and their shine boxes and start sweeping the shine in the place. When I get back to Phoenix, when I get back to Phoenix, I better see a lot of brooms sweeping up the trash out there because y'all got swept. Y'all got humiliated by a team who haven't made it out of the first round since 2004. Since KG, Sam Cassell, and Latrell Sprewell was on that team that went to the Western Conference Finals. Wanted to lose to Kobe and Shaq and the Lakers. I even heard some rumors that the Suns out in Phoenix, the Suns are trying to get rid of KD. Well, you're stuck with him now. This is the curse that you guys get. You guys try to sign on and take these teen hopping, uh, bungee jumping fools around, take them, and they don't give you the results. Now, there will be some excuses. Well, they didn't have a long time. They didn't have a long time. They didn't have a long time to play with each other. Ah, excuses. Everybody has an excuse these days. So many dang excuses these days. It's quite ridiculous. It's quite ridiculous. Anthony Everest told these fools to stay at home. Go home. Don't come back. You're done. And he marched to the tune of 40 points in this game with two sprained ankles, I think. I don't know what happened with the coach today. I think Mike Conley fell into the coach. I think the coach may got a torn ACL, blown ACL. And he lost the coach in this game. But I don't want to hear it from none of y'all about KD no more. I don't want to hear it. The man's so great, you could have got at least one win. <laughs> Sitting here watching the inside NBA. But he should have got at least one win. <laughs> That's funny. He ain't get a win. I think tonight was the closest win. I mean, the closest to getting a win. I don't want to hear no more about KD. I don't want to hear no more about KD. I especially don't want to hear from the other balling food place in the city five, six hours away. When they done tomorrow, hopefully. Hopefully the Nuggets get their job done. I don't want to hear about these dudes no more. I don't want to hear about any of them and how great they are. They can go take the shine boxes and broomsticks and clean up Phoenix. Another one in L.A. can clean up L.A. because it's dirty there, too. And then they can go play in the Olympics and lose for all I care. I'm done with him. I'm done with Steph Curry, too. I'm done with all these dudes. Take your sunset and ride into the sunset and go away. Let the new blood breathe. Let them breathe. Let them play. Let them boys play. You guys' time is up. You guys got your accomplishments. It's over. Katie, you ain't getting another ring. Should have stayed in Golden State. But I'm glad he didn't stay in Golden State because that was a super team. They didn't need to be there. Guys jumping on super teams to super teams to super teams to super teams and fail horribly. Why? And they just sit, and you got these idiots on in Twitter and ESPN or, or whatever talking about, we're done with the 90s. We're done. These guys are so much better than people in the 90s. Well, they ain't need super teams to win. Yes, Boston got a super team, according to some. But that 80s team, Boston's team, that was built upon good drafting and small pickups in the free agency. I didn't want to trade, I guess. Robert Parrish did come from Golden State. But still, they knew how to win. There was no complaining. But I need another team. I don't like this team. Oh, my role players suck. There ain't none of that going on. They play with who they got and they won. Lakers too? Yeah, Lakers may have had a super team. But that team was bought. I wasn't even bought. Actually, it was drafted. That team was drafted. And they did what they had to do. Sometimes they even had magic all the time with Kareem. Ain't always about having six superstars in one team or six stars on one team to win. Sometimes you need one or two and a bunch of good role players. 
And if you lose, no excuses. Say you lost. Say you lost. We lost. We got to do better next season. Stop with all the dang excuses. It was his hell. It was his fault. Oh, it's just, oh, here's here's everybody's favorite one now. Now they're trying to make, uh, act like, oh, that was taken out of context. No, I heard the whole interview, you numrod, you nimrod. It's just basketball. It's just basketball. Oh, it ain't basketball when you running around pretending like you won the finals in an in season tournament. Now it's just basketball. People make me sick, man. Y'all make me sick. You know, the stands and your KD stands out here. Y'all make me sick. You know, one of the reasons why I don't like watching NBA basketball. Oh. Along with ESPN. Places like that. Y'all make me sick. That's why I want these guys to lead the league. Get out of the league. Stop influencing the younger generation of players that are coming up. I like Anthony Edwards. He got that dog in him. He got that dog in him. Just watch his postseason, uh, uh, not postseason, postgame interview. He wanted to destroy everything in front of him. None of this, oh, I can't get the job done because I ain't have, no, I don't want to hear that no more. Because you don't want to, can't get the job done because you thought you, in your mind, you didn't have enough, LeBron James. We didn't have enough in 2011 Miami Heat. No, you idiot. You just couldn't read the defense and couldn't play off ball. You numb rat. You balding numb rat. That's your fault. Everybody else did what they supposed to do. Wayne Wayne did what he was supposed to do. Wayne Wayne had to carry the slack for you, LeBron. Because you're subpar. You're a subpar basketball player, just like your subpar fan base. A bunch of raving. I'm going too far now. I'm about to go too far. But you guys know what I'm about to say. It's over. It's over. Let it go. Katie's done. LeBron's done. It's over for y'all and y'all fans. It's over. Go sit down somewhere. They're done. Their time is over. It's a new age now. We're tired of these guys polluting the NBA with their sorry selves. Honestly, with them dang us. I ain't have enough. But I ain't have enough. I didn't have enough. I ain't have enough to win anything. I ain't even know if even though I had uh, even though I had Chris Bosch and Dwayne Wade. You does hassle. I ain't have enough still. Freak, man. But anyway, I just feel like I've been on too many rants already today. Uh like I said, the sun's done. Get their broomsticks and shine boxes. It's a new day. New era. New time. We had enough of these guys. Anthony Edwards put in the work. He had nine. I think he had nine points in the second half or something like that. Uh, I think he had nine points in the second man in the first half, and they ended up scoring forty. They needed him. Everybody else stepped up. Cat, for once, I gotta give credit to him. He didn't look soft out there. Rudy Gobert, he might be the defensive player of the year. See, he, and he playing like it. And uh, some years I didn't think he would play like it. Or think, thinking he played like it. But he's definitely playing like it. Um, shoot. Uh, this Jaden McDaniels, that's the X factor right there. He's everywhere. Son throw a lazy pass or throw a pass. And in general, he's there stealing it. That's the X factor. He came through in game two. He kind of came through. Defensively tonight as well. He's definitely an X factor. That's what the Bucks need. Something like that. Get rid of Dane. He don't need no Dane. I had enough of Dane. But anyway, he ain't talking about the Bucks. We'll talk about them later. So um But yeah, uh I don't know about the Tim Wills getting to the finals. Some people are trying to say that. I think Ticket TV said they get to the finals, picking him to go to the finals instead of Nuggets. Uh, I think the Nuggets are going to finally start playing tomorrow and end this shrewd team called the Lakers for once and for all again so we can get on to other stuff. 
Start worried about these subpar basketball players like KD and LeBron and these subpar teams. Um, but as far as Tim Wolves getting to the finals, I don't know. It, they they getting it. they'll be there soon, but I don't know about this year. Unless the Nuggets, they do play the Nuggets. They just end up landing a big egg against the Timberwolves. Sorry, I'm sitting here reading what happened to the Timberwolves coach. When he went down, I say he had a torn patella tendon. Uh, lucky he's only coaching. But that sucks for him. Damn. You end up getting your first sweep in your NBA career. You can't even sit there and see it because your own player ran into you by accident. Torn your knee out. But anyways, um, shout out to the Minnesota Timberwolves. They are moving on. And they're going to get some much needed rest as um, they went on the winner of the Nuggets and Lakers. And uh, 80, uh, not 80. Ant Man, he that dude. He that dude. He that dude. So tell me what you guys think.